Oh, Next up, what have we got? Reverend, this is a gin liqueur. Oh, it's something on the rocks. Something sure. on the rocks. <laughs> Reverend, <laughs> Reverend Huber's winter gin liqueur. This one's thirty-five ninety-nine from the Great Reverend Huber .com. Cracking bottle infused with Amalfi lemons. Mm. So you've got some Amalfi oranges in there. You've got Ooh, like Turkish that. That so different. delicious. Yeah. So different, delicious. Yeah. That is like liquid mince pies. It's liquid yeah. Christmas. Yeah. It's, like, it's like a summer cup, but with like yeah Christmas flavors because it feels quite familiar flavor wise. It really does, and I think Thomas. And Joe, who blend it, I think raisins. they have done such a good job. Alcoholic good? raisins. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes really I nice. find Christmassy flavors a bit cloying, but that's not, is it? That's really just really, really, really lovely. lovely. And I think the, the bottle, you know, is jazzy, and it's, it's from an old recipe, I think, in the early 1900s. Reverend it? Hubert himself. Yeah, apparently he was a really good guy. He was a you know, kind of good guy who looked after people. He was into charity. He was Made a booze. priest. Made booze, yeah. <laughs> that kind of guy. He, he was an actual thing. priest. I think he was really? an actual priest. So it says on their website. Okay. okay. Good to have hobbies. I don't think that's a hobby. I'm this. I'm this, sorry. So this is a, a warm gin punch made with a uh, Reverend Hubert's winter gin liqueur. Oh, um, oh, oh wow. Thank. So this is one of my favorite Christmas uh, liqueurs I've tried for a long, long time. So it's based on gin, but you've got kind of dried fruits, uh, Amalfi lemons. It's, it's really just a light, uh, bright, fresh, but heavily uh, flavored uh, gin liqueur. And what I've done with that, I've topped it with uh, Oloroso Sherry and cranberry juice. Infused it with a bit of lemon, a little bit of lime, and warmed it through. Really, really easy, really, really quick. Um, utterly delicious. Whizzed up. Whizzed up. Does he whiz it up? Do you yeah, it? No, 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 no. Just in a pan. Yeah. yeah, just in a pan. That is so That's good. That's so lovely. I, I generally think if, you, you know, if you're going to spend time outside with people <laughs> yeah one of those yeah. Yeah. for breakfast yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a good start we, we can see where simon's christmas is going <laughs> 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 Four and a rock. Get a reputation simon <laughs> all right let's, let's choose our favorite let's start in the vip section number one Number one, number one. Number one as well. Yeah, number one for me. Yeah, that Julie Kiel's fantastic. I'll tell you what, all oh, three of them are amazing. Yeah. Number one, something yeah. else. That first taste of number one was just like, wow. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. Number one definitely works the best. Mm. Thank you very much, mate. So the last one is the Reverend Hubert. And oh, this is called a garden gin liqueur. So the Reverend Hubert was an actual reverend. He was a kind of party loving Ooh. vicar. I know one of them. <laughs> we all need a party vicar in our lives, Hells. <laughs> <laughs> and he used to make a summer cup using rhubarb and plums from his own yes. garden, the big garden. Yeah, that's right, this man. is his great grandson's take on it. And Thomas, his great grandson, has made this using plums, uh, but, uh, also rhubarb. Rhubarb is, the, if you yeah, smell it, I, mean, I can't absolutely. Even taste it. It really hits you with that lovely rhubarb cranberry as well. So it is sweet being a gin liqueur, but I've mixed this with soda rather than lemonade ah. so that it's not too cloying. Yeah. Uh, is it? Is it? I love this. That's my this favorite. is yeah, delicious. Yeah, my favorite. Because yeah. it's got that rhubarb edge. It's not yeah. too sweet. Really yeah. nice. Yeah. It's got it that is. sort of level of acidity. Perhaps yeah. the soda. Like Perhaps the soda's the key. Is it? Is that? Is that it? Is it soda? It's yeah. just not too sweet. Yeah, the soda keeps it really, really fresh. But also the colour is such a joyous colour. You can't drink this and not be happy. And, and invented by a fun vicar. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks for that, Hell. It's delicious. There's some alternatives for you. I have to say, without question, the most delicious Christmas pudding in a glass. It is truly sensational. You'd be a fool 